Hello, Shiners. I'm trying to get situated. I didn't set up my ring light or do anything fancy like that, which is okay. <clears throat> but I wanted to have my laptop here so I could look at it. I'm gonna wait just a minute, like literally just a minute, to see um, if anyone's gonna pop on live. And if you are watching the replay, let me know. Let's do something fun. If you are watching the replay, um, put your favorite color down in the comments. Do that, that'll be fun. If you're watching the replay, favorite color. If you are on live, say hi. I could tag people, I don't really want to though. Hi, 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 hello. I'm waiting just a minute for people to pop on because I know it usually takes a minute for the notification to pop up that people are live. So if you're on, say hi. So I know who's listening to me. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna re-upload this hostess coaching thing to the, um, to the page, cause I uploaded it and then I was like, oh, let me add this and oh, let me change that and all the things. So it's totally fine. It's totally fine. Hello, hello. Okay, I'm gonna get started. And those popping on late, We'll have to catch up. So this is hostess coaching training. So I did a hostess coaching training on the, the last hostess coaching form that I have in the files tab from, I don't know how long ago, six months ago maybe. Um, and it's a lot more extensive and it's the one that I used for months and months and months, like when I first started. So now that I'm doing, I've been doing parties for a while and I'm doing like three parties a week. I wanted to trim down some stuff. If you watched my um, video that I did the other day about, you know, how much are you making an hour? Um, there was a lot of stuff that, yes, maybe might help a little bit, but is it really bringing in enough money, um, enough sales to... Um, the word I'm looking for, like to uh, justify the amount of time that I was putting into it. Does that make sense? So um, if you're new and you're not used to doing parties, definitely check out the older hostess coaching um, document in the files tab as well. The updated one will say updated 8 slash 2020. So um Either one, both of them have worked wonderfully for me. But like I said, the other ones are a little more extensive, right? So um, I'm gonna go over this document that I have now. Um, and then you guys can ask any questions as I go along, if you need anything explained or why or what or whatnot, right? Um, at the end of the day, it does not matter what kind of party that you do. So um, side note, I've got that mock party group set up. I'm just trying to pick a date um, to when I do, I wanna do the live version for you guys. Um, and then I'm going to invite you at the time that I would have the actual hostess invite her friends, right? So I want it to be as close to a realistic party as possible for you guys. Um, so I just need to get that on my calendar, but it'll be sometime probably towards the end of the week, okay? Um, or very early next week. Anyway, 
So this outline here goes along with my Facebook party outline, the updated one that I just added last or this weekend, right? So, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what kind of party you do, whether you do my party style, you do the 30 minute live party style where you're going live for 30 minutes and just talking about all the things, whether you do the little mini videos, um, like, um, some of the training videos that I've posted in here, how they're doing the little two minute videos, whether you, you're posting for, you know, three days or for a week and a half, it does not matter what kind of Facebook party you do. Hostess coaching is the most important part. If you don't coast coach your hostess and tell them what to do and how to do it and when to do it, then you might as well not even waste your time actually doing the party. 90% of the time, okay? You are gonna have those one-offs where maybe the chick's in direct sales already, she already knows what's going on, she already knows how it works, she, she doesn't need to be coached, and you'll have a bomb party. Um, but in most cases, you have to coach your hostess. And that's for a Facebook party, a home party, a basket party, a text party, doesn't matter what kind of party you do, right? So, so important. So here's what I do and why I do it. So first of all, um, when I do my parties, I've got, and you can save these to your desktop, right? When you, when you pull them up in the files tab, and I'm going to have a unit as well, all about hostess coaching and a unit on Facebook parties and all that to try to make everything really easy to find in the group. Um, but you can save this to your desktop. So I have the hostess coaching thing saved to my desktop. I have the Facebook party outline saved to my desktop. And then I, I was totally looking for my phone right there. Um, and then I have the hostess coaching um, verbiage saved in my notes app on my phone. Cause that's usually, I'm usually doing it from my phone for the most part. So then I can just copy and paste from the notes app and send it in Facebook Messenger. So, um, so first off, like two to three weeks prior to the actual party, I'm checking in with the hostess, right? And I'm checking in just to kind of feel her out to make sure she's still engaged and she's ready for her party. Since I've been doing the dice game, I've been booked um, roughly two months out, right? So when you're in... Um, you know, August and you're booking for the end of October, once the end of October comes around, if you haven't been interacting with your hostess, they're probably going to cancel, right? Um, which you don't want to happen. So about two to three weeks, um, depending on how I've interacted with her, right? If she's made a purchase from the last party, then obviously there's that follow up in there. So I've, I've been talking to her, building the relationship on Facebook, that kind of thing. But I reach out to make sure that they're engaged, right? So I say something like, hey, Sally, just wanted to pop in and say, hey, I'll be working on your party stuff soon. Can't wait for you to grab some of these new fall things, okay? Whatever. And then you're waiting for a response. So then, um, about 10 to 14 days prior to the party, I check in again, okay? Um, and I say something like, hey, I've got your goodie bag ready or I'm working on your goodie bag tomorrow to ship out or, you know, whatever, keep an eye on it. Um, and then I say, you know, you should, I'll let you know when I have it in the mailbox, you should get it in like three to four days, take a picture, you know, when you get it, put it on Facebook, whatever, right? That can just be... I have the verbiage in the document, but just, just be normal, right? So I tell you guys, just be normal. Let the conversation flow, right? Um, if I haven't heard from the hostess, I do not send the party pack out. So that's why if I haven't heard from them from before that last check-in, then that conversation is going to be a little different. It's going to be more like, hey, I'm working on your goodie bag tonight, um, you know, is Wednesday the 14th still good for you or something like that if she didn't respond to my last one, right? You just wanna make sure that they're involved because I've had a couple of hostesses before where I did this check-in and I never heard from them again, right? So obviously I didn't send mail out a, a hostess packet to them, right? 
Um, so once you've confirmed that they're engaged, they're interacting with you. I've had some reschedule too, so this is why it's important because some are like, oh, I completely forgot. Can we, you know, I have to work that night. Can we move it to this day kind of thing, right? So once you have, you know, your date locked in and engaged hostess, then you're gonna ship out the hostess pack. Now, um, I'm pretty sure at some point, my hostess packs haven't really changed. Um, and I actually don't have any made up, but, cause I just shipped out three this morning. Um, you want to send them something in the mail and um, it doesn't have to be anything super extensive and fancy like I do. Obviously you would build up to that depending on your budget, but um, at least a product sheet, um, the, you can, I have stuff in the files tab, um, like the hostess rewards little picture. That's way up there, I'm not getting up. Um, the hostess rewards picture that tells them how the rewards work. You can print that off on a regular sheet of paper. Um, I usually put a couple of samples in there scratch and sniff stickers or felt samples or whatever I happen to have, right? Send them a little something to kind of get them excited for the party that's coming up, right? Okay, so you've sent out their hostess packet. Four to five days prior to the party, you're gonna start laying down the ground rules and expectations and setting up the group, okay? So like I have, So for example, my parties that I have on Thursdays, Thursday nights, I'm setting up the group tonight. Okay, because it's Monday, right? Yeah. So my parties that I have on Wednesday, I'm setting them up on Sunday. So one, two, three, I count the party day as four days, right? So that's how I do it. And so you're going to set up the group. And all of that on how to do that is in the Facebook party outline document, okay? So like this kind of goes together, right? So you're setting up the group and I say something to this effect. I'm working on setting up your party group. Sometimes I already have it set up, but this is just what I say, right? I'm working on setting up your party group. So go ahead and start thinking about who you want to invite. I only have one rule and that is to not mass invite people to the group, which means you don't just hit the invite button and start going down your friends list. I put that verbiage in there because I've had lots of people come back and say, I don't know what mass inviting means. So that's why I added that to my little template to copy and paste. Um, we want quality over quantity. So we're going to ask people if they want an invite first. So only those that want to be in the group are in there. Sound good, question mark, right? So you want a response from them that, that they've got it. So I wait for a response from them. And then I say, okay, I've got your group all set up once I actually have it set up. And I'm gonna send you an invite then make you an admin so you can approve your people. Now here's what we do. Personally message each person that you want to invite and ask them if they would like to come. Try to think of 25 to 30 people. You can message them something like this. Hey Sally, I'm running low on Scentsy stuff and stocking up on some of the new fall smells. Thought I'd have one of those quick 30 minute Facebook parties. Wanna come? I know you're nodding yes. And then of course I tell them, make it sound like you, like, um, and same with you guys, like change this verbiage, like save this to your, to your phone or to your desktop and change it to make it sound like you, right? This is, this is what I say, right? So then I wait, this is important too. So the, then I wait for them to see that. And that's why I like doing this in Facebook messenger. I wait for them to see that before I actually send them the invite. Okay, because it's so super important if you guys have listened to any of the um, Facebook party trainings that I've posted ever, we don't mass invite people. Like we only want people in the group. And if only 10 people say, yes, I would love to come to your Sensi party, Sally, then great. We only need 10 people, right? It's so super important.
And I've had so many people tell me, oh my gosh, thank you so much for asking me, right? So um, I wait for them to see it. And once they see it, normally they'll come back and say, okay, sounds good, thumbs up, something, right? And then I send them the invite, okay? If you send them the invite too soon before they see the message, they're just gonna go in there and mass invite all the people, okay? So that's something that I added since the last one. All right, so then once I send them the invite I, and they get in the group, then I send them an invite to be an admin. And I say, I sent you a request to be an admin so you can approve anyone that wants to join. For now, your task is to get peeps in the group over the next 24 hours and like and comment on any posts in there. The more you interact in the group, the better your party will be. So have fun. If you have any questions at all, just message me. So if you saw the old one, I think at some point in there, there was a couple of like Facebook posts of getting them to, to post on their, their main Facebook page. They can post on their main Facebook page all they want, right? Um, I just didn't add that into my hostess coaching anymore in this part because I didn't really see it making too big of a difference. So I saved myself some time and cut that out. But if you wanna add that in, you're only doing a party here or there, it was definitely good. I needed to cut it out for me, okay? Any questions so far? So now we've contacted the host a couple of times, made sure they were engaged, and we told her how she's going to invite people to the party, okay? And I do all of this on Facebook Messenger. I don't, um, I don't text or call or anything like that. I've had one person say that email was better for her and I was, and I would copy and paste and email all of this stuff to her. But other than that, I use Facebook Messenger. All right, so the day before the party, so if I have my party on Thursday, right? So Wednesday morning, my party's gonna be Thursday night. Wednesday morning, I'm sending her a message. Happy pre-party day for you. You've been doing an amazing job getting people in the group. I don't care if she has six people in the group or 60 people in the group. She's done an amazing job getting people in the group, okay? Keep going. I'm sure there's people still popping in your head that you can ask, and we still have lots of time. I always say that because usually they'll do that first initial like invite where they're like, oh yeah, all these people, and then they stop. So I want to encourage them, keep inviting people all the way up till the party starts. Like if like people are gonna be popping in your head, you're gonna see somebody in your news feed where you're like, oh, hey, I can ask them, right? So I encourage them to continue to get people in the group and that always adds more people. So that's why I put that in there. Um, I say your task today is to take a picture of one of the samples I sent you and say something like this. Um, and then I put verbiage. I got this sample of Clean Breeze fabric spray because that's one of the things I put into my hostess packets. Um, from my Scentsy Lady, I only used a little bit on my bed and pillows and it smells so fresh and clean. My 30 minute party is tomorrow night. Come hang out and see the stuff and then link the party group. Okay, so then if she puts that on her main Facebook page, they can just click the group and ask to join themselves, right? So if you just had a, um, if you got the scratch and sniff stickers and you just had those in there, then change it to say, oh, I got this sample of um, breakfast in bed. You know, it smells amazing, blah, blah, blah. Like just kind of help her no, like figure out something to say, right? And then of course I tell them, make sure, you know, let it sound like you. Now, what I've come to realize because of COVID is that I have to send my party packs out earlier than what I've been sending them out. So like I've been mailing them, like if my party's on Thursday of this week, I was mailing it out like last Tuesday, right? So like a week and a day prior to the party. 
And for especially for my people that are out of state, which almost all of my people are, are out of state, um, they're, they're not getting the party packs until like the day before, which doesn't give them a whole lot of time to try the samples and stuff. So I have started sending those out like a week and a half earlier so they can get them in time. So that's just a tip because the mail is definitely slower right now. All right, so that's the day before the party. So I set up the party for a Thursday party. I set it up on Monday, messaged them, told them how to invite, right? Um, got them to invite people. Tuesday, I didn't really, um, I didn't talk to the host as much. I'm keeping an eye on the group and I'm interacting with people, okay? You'll see that with the, in the mock party. Okay, you, um, as people are getting into the group and they're commenting on your posts that are already in there, you go in there and comment too, right? Talk, talk to the guests, talk to the people. And then on Wednesday, I'm telling her, keep going, add people to the group, post on your Facebook page, okay? Then the morning of the party, I was doing this a few hours prior to the party, but then those that like work all day or are really busy, they might not see this message that I'm about to tell you about. Um, and it's super important. So I started sending it in the morning and it's much better. And I usually send this as a voice message. So I just do the Facebook voice messenger thing um, instead of copying and pasting. But you do you, okay? So I say something like, happy party day. I'm so ready to get you some free stuff. Here's some tips and tasks. This might sound silly, but show up to your own party. I like to tell people it's like a home party. If you have people over, are you sitting in the corner eating Doritos, staring at everyone? Or are you walking around, talking about their day, asking if they've tried those Doritos before, laughing and being social? Same things here. Do that in the group. Like and comment on all the posts. Tag people if you see a picture of something in the video or something that they'd like. Comment on what you like. People don't care at all what I like. They want to hear from you. Okay, so I send that something to that effect um, in a voice message. And I feel like that really helps, especially those that haven't really done an online Facebook party before. If you kind of flip it and use that analogy with the home party, it kind of makes more sense to them. Okay. Um, so that I've added that in because that has seemed to be more helpful here recently. So then I tell them voice message also. Second thing is I have a post going up at 8.30 or 7.30, 30 minutes before their actual party time. Um, that has a 15 minute warning picture and the party schedule. When that pops up, and don't worry, I'll remind you, go to that post and tag everyone in the comments. This is super important because unfortunately, people aren't sitting around waiting for eight o'clock to hit for your party. That's what I tell them, because that's true. Nobody's like, oh, it's Thursday. I can't wait for Sally's online party at eight o'clock tonight. That's not happening. It's not a thing. Okay, so it's so super important and I've noticed a huge difference in my party goers and participations on the hostesses that tag their people in that warning post and the hostesses that don't tag their people in that warning post. So I definitely would not skip this step, okay? Um, and I say that this is this way they get the notification and don't miss it. Let me know if you have any questions. I need to update this. I already see. Okay. So then that's in the morning. And then around 10 to 15 minutes before that post is going to pop up, I message them again. I say, here's your warning. The warning post is going to pop up in like 10 minutes. Okay. And then when it pops up, I go to my Facebook Messenger. Okay, the post is up. Go tag all your people in the comments, right? Um, I put a little verb in here. Once the 
like especially once the party has started and the and the party's going on make sure your host is commenting on things so like make sure they're commenting on the door prize post or if you're not doing my party outline like just make sure that they are commenting on things and if not like call you know call them out in the messenger i've done that before to a couple of girls where i'm like hey girl you're missing your party get in there like people are showing up and you're not there you know so don't be afraid to do that they they need to come to their party another thing that i'll say really quick is that i know old way partying like a lot of the mindset is oh you know you just invite your friends and I'll do all the work, right? Like you've probably heard that before, especially if you've been in direct sales for a while. Um, and I just don't believe that at all. And I've had a lot of um, just talking to other like direct sales people and stuff. They're like, oh, well, you know, they're doing me a favor because they're having a party and you know i just want it to be so easy on them and you know i just i want to do everything i don't want them to have to worry about anything yes we want to make it easy and fun for them uh but they're getting free stuff right so if you want free stuff you gotta work for it right you got you got to do a little bit of work to get some free stuff so that's always been my mindset and if they don't do the things that I tell them to do, um, and then their party flops, okay, well, sorry. Maybe you should listen to me. You know what I mean? So that's just my mindset. That's how I see it. I've been doing this for a long time. We've learned from all the people that have been doing this for a long time and what's successful and not and what's not successful and like this works. And sometimes I'll tell people that in the beginning too. Like I've been doing this a while. I've figured out what works and what doesn't work. You follow my lead, you're going to have a bomb party. Okay, just do what I tell you to do, you know, and sometimes I say that and it's totally fine. All right, so now you've had your party. Okay. You've had your 30 minute party piece, done all the things, followed the party outline, whatever outline you're using. Um, so right after the party ends, so if my party's at eight o'clock, it's probably about 8.40, maybe at 8.40, 8.45, I'm messaging the hostess and I'm saying something like, oh, you know, that was a great party or oh, that was super fun. Um, sometimes there's not a whole lot of interaction or whatever. Um, and I'll say, you know, well, you did a good job commenting or something like that, right? Just, again, be normal. Say something normal about how the party, you know, went. But you want to thank them. So I say thank you so much for letting me hang out with you and your friends tonight. You did such an awesome job. Now we wait. Most of the orders will come in tonight and tomorrow. As I post thank yous, make sure you comment and show your appreciation to your friends for their orders. I'll message you tomorrow morning with an update and give you a couple more tasks. And then that's it. That's like, that's the end of it for the actual party night with the hostess. And I'm online usually for about 45 minutes after the party has ended. Um, Cause you'll have people asking questions and all that kind of stuff. And there'll be the late party goers that'll be popping on, you know, after the party's already over and, you know, commenting and stuff and you still want to interact with them, right? So then the next morning, if you guys have questions, drop them in the comments as I'm going along. Cause I know I'm talking really fast. So after the party, um, what I do this is what I this is what I started doing and it's really helpful. It's really helpful for follow up too. And I know I've shared this before, but I have a notebook. So this is my party notebook. And so every person gets a page. And what I do is I write their name at the top and I put the date that their party was and the time and whose party I booked it off of just so I can keep track of that kind of stuff. Um, 
and there's a whole bunch on here. Um, I have door prize because I want to keep track of who um, commented on the door prize post. And then I have orders and then I keep track of who's ordered. So this way, when I come back the next morning, I can go to the Facebook group and like on here, here's all the people that were in the group but didn't attend the party. So they didn't comment on any posts within the 30 minute party that we actually had. That's how I do it. So then I make note of who is ordered, who hasn't ordered, who was at the party, who wasn't at the party, right? Because this next part of the hostess coaching is so important and this is where I get most I said this is so important like eight times on eight different sections, but it's all super important. Um, this is where I actually get most of my orders is during this part. So this is why it's super important, okay? So I send her a message the next morning and I say something like, we're down to the wire, here's your task for the day, or, you know, oh my gosh, you're at, you know, this much or whatever, right? So in the example here, I have, you're at $85 right now, we need to get to at least 200 in orders to be able to close the party and get any freebies, okay? So I wanna make sure that they understand that. Most of these that I've booked, um, I've booked off the dice game, which is, you know, they get the grand prize. My grand prize is a three pack of bars when their party closes. So it's important to reiterate, you don't get anything until we close your party. We can't close your party until we have at least $200, okay? Um, if they're over the $200, I say something like, um, you're at 285 right now, 500 is where all the magic happens, so here's what we'll do, right? Because you always wanna try to get to that $500 party. So number one, personally message everyone that is in the group but wasn't at the party. I'll put some verbiage below. That was Sally, Barbara, Kelly, Marge, Sarah, and Josie. So I list out all the people that were in the group but they did not participate in the party, okay? Make it easy for them, right? Um, number two, post on your wall. I'll give you some verbiage for that too. As always, change the verbiage to sound more like you. For those that were at the party but haven't ordered yet, I have a post going up with the door prize winner this morning and details about ordering. You can tag them in that. That would be Hannah, Jesse, Amanda, and Robin. Let me know if you have any questions. So again, on the door prize here, I've paid attention. I've written down who's participated in the party and who's ordered. So if, um, you know, Hannah and Jesse and Amanda participated in the party, but they haven't ordered. We want to tag them in that um, morning post for the prize winner, okay? And then I give them the message. Here's to message to your peeps. Hey, missed you at the party last night. There was so much to look at. My shopping link is still open and Sam has... Sam said she will extend the special for the free deluxe sample with every order. Let me know if I can help you pick out some stuff insert party link, okay? Um, I'm doing happy mail right now. I've been changing this up a lot, just trying to figure out like kind of what, what's gonna work better for me. Um, I was doing like free gift, but then that got out of compliance. And then, so I, the free deluxe sample is fine, but then I was like, well, maybe I don't want to send a sample. Maybe I don't have any samples. So then I, then I changed it to happy mail. So now mine says happy mail, but you can change that to make it whatever you want as long as it's in compliance. Does that make sense? If you have questions about that, let me know. So I send them that verbiage and then I say for your main Facebook page and I send, did you guys know since he had laundry stuff? I heard these dryer discs are amazing. So I'm definitely adding those to my list. My shopping page is open until tonight and there's extra freebies involved. I've got the page below. If you wanna check it out, let me know what's on your list. Thanks friends. Something to that nature. You make it whatever you want, okay? Then I tell them, then put your link in the comments. That way Facebook doesn't push it down in the feed. So. Again, I don't have my phone. I separate the, com the, the messages when I do that, okay? So I send them that, here's your tasks, one, two, three, that's a message. And then I send the, 
hey, missed you at the party, as a message so they can just copy and paste that if they want to, okay? And then another bubble is the wall post so they can just copy and paste if they want to, okay? Make it easy for them, right? And I hope everyone knows by now, we have a lot of newbies, so you might not. If you're posting on your main Facebook page, you, your hostess, whatever, do not put your website or your shopping link or anything in the main body of the, the post. Put verbiage that it's in the comments and put it in the comments because blah, 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 algorithm, all the things I know I'm talking about, Facebook will push it down in the feed and not as many people will see it. So, pro tip. Okay, so that is the next morning. So I had my party Thursday night. That was Friday morning. And then I wait. I'm still like interacting with the party group. People are ordering. I'm saying thank you, all the things, right? So then the next day, so this will be Saturday morning. Hey, Sally, how did the messaging go yesterday? And so that's when they usually come back. And if they didn't message, then you'll know. Because then they're like, oh, I got busy and let me message them right now, right? Um, or they'll come back and say, oh, it went good. I got my messages out. You know, this person, this person, and this person said they wanted to order. Um, and then you can kind of gauge on how long you need to keep the party open for. So the last part here I have is when you're ready to close out the party. And this I added from the last document that I have. And um, this is where you can um, talk about flipping the party, right? Like having them join if they had a really good party, they did a great job, um, all the things, right? We've talked we've talked about the recruiting thing before, so I'm not going to talk about that. Um, so I have, okay, here's an update. You're at you know, $500 in sales, do you want to close it out or keep pushing for more sales, right? Let them respond. So if you're ready to close out, I say something like, awesome. So I know I put some info in your goodie bag, but have you thought about being a consultant before? You've done such a great job this week and I could totally flip this whole party to you. You know, you and your friends are going to need some refills soon, so might as well buy them from you, right? Here's what it would look like if you joined. If you joined, you would get your starter kit for free, or if they got like a $200 party, you'd get your starter kit for $39. Um, you'll have this much in credit and this many half offs to use, plus you'll get a commission check for this much, right? So kind of like I show them the benefits, right? Because if they had a good party, why keep that for yourself? Like. Be generous, right? Generosity is one of our core values. Be generous, it's their friends, give it to them. Um, answer their questions, excuse bust if you need to with the feel felt found method, I have that in here. Um, if, you, if you're new and you don't know the answer to a question or how to bust an excuse, then message your sponsor, okay? Um, so don't worry about that. If they answer yes, get her list of rewards, input them into the workstation, get payment, and don't forget to flip the toggle button to flip the party. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, there's training on that, so don't you worry about it. Um, if the answer is no, then okay, no worries. Here's what you get as a bomb hostess. You have $20 in free credit, one half off, and you know, whatever else, if you gave them a special, three pack of bars, mini warmer, whatever. Below are some stipulations. Just send me the list and I'll send you the total and the payment options. I send them the stipulations, like we can't use Disney. Um, you can't use it on you know, the whiff box, that kind of thing. And then I tell them my pay things. And that's it. That is my hostess coaching in a nutshell. So I'm talking to them 
almost daily for like a whole week. And that's it. So if you guys have any questions, it's really, it's like I said at the beginning, at the end of the day, you just need to make it easy for them, tell them, you know, basically kind of what to do and when to do it and what to say. Um, and just make it easy for them. Make it easy for them to copy and paste if they want, you know, um, and just encourage them. And these, if, if they're not used to doing parties all the time, they have no idea what to do. It seems easy for us because we do it all the time. And that's like one of my things where I have to try to remember, oh wait, this person has no idea what I'm talking about, right? So make it easy for them. Use the outline, change, save this to your desktop, change it how you want. Um, and that's it. But coach, coach your hostesses. If you have any questions about anything specific, um, pop that down in the comments. This is in the files tab. Actually, I'm gonna upload this um, updated one to the files tab. It'll also eventually be in the units tab and stay tuned for the mock party thing group. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye y'all.